Okay, lesson 128, page 369, English volume conversions. Top of the page says there are quite a few cubic inches in a cubic foot. We can see this clearly by looking at this drawing of a cubic foot. And you can look at that drawing and you can see that's a lot of cubes. We see that there are 12 times 12, which equals 144 cubes in the front face. The cubes are 12 deep. So there are a total of 144 times 12, 1,728 cubes. We will use three unit multipliers to make volume conversions. We will concentrate on the process rather than on numerical answers. Thus, the answers will not be worked out all the way. All right, so you guys have been doing these. We're just going to be doing more than you've been doing. All right, so the same rules apply. Um, you don't have to put the, the answer multiplied out and get the final product. You can just put your unit multipliers with the correct final units and I will count that as a correct answer. Now on your test, if you wanna figure out the product, I will still give you bonus points. So that's an option, but it is time consuming, so it's not required. Okay, so example 128.1, use three unit multipliers. Okay, so we're gonna use three to convert 14 cubic feet to cubic inches. Okay, so we've got 14 feet cubed. We need to get that to inches and we're gonna use three unit multipliers. So remember you put that over one. We're gonna use one, two, three. All right, so if we're going to inches, then we need to have inches on top and we need to cancel out our feet. Okay, so we're gonna have one foot, which is equal to 12 inches. And we're gonna have three of those. Right, because feet cubed is equivalent to feet times feet times feet, three of them. So in order to cancel this out, we need one, two, three feet. So then we would do 14 times 12 times 12 times 12. But you can write your answer 14 times 12 times 12 times 12 inches cubed, and that's an acceptable answer. You can also write 14 times 12 cubed inches cubed, and that's an acceptable answer. That's showing me three twelves. A little faster to write that. All right, so again, you guys know this. Write out your unit multipliers, okay? Some of you are really good about this. You put them on the front of your page. I can see and I know that you're doing them because again, when you get into high school and I was just talking to the high school teacher about this, you're going to have a lot of unit multipliers. So you need to be in the habit of just being able to pump them out. So you wanna get in the habit of that now while you're using six so that later when you have to use 21, you already know how to do this. Okay, so don't be lazy, write them out. Use six unit multipliers to convert 140 cubic yards, yards cubed, to cubic inches. Okay, so we're gonna use six. So we start with our 140 yards cubed over one. And then we're gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going from yards to inches. And if we're using six, we're gonna go from yards to feet two inches. Okay, so we're going to need three yards on the bottom to cancel out this. How many feet are in a yard? Hopefully you remember three feet. Now we need to end up with inches, so we're also going to need to cancel these feet out. So we're going to need three on the bottom. How many inches are in a foot? Twelve. Hopefully you remember that. All right, so then cancel out your units. We're left with inches cubed, which is what we want. So we can write our answer 140 times three cubed times 12 cubed inches cubed. And that would be your answer. Okay, 128.3, use six unit multipliers to convert, woo! 50,163,529 cubic inches to cubic miles. Oh my. Okay. So let's see here. We've got 50,163,529 inches cubed for one. And we're going to use six unit multipliers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. We're gonna go from inches, okay, to feet, to miles. So we're gonna need inches on the bottom. Well, not one inch, okay? 
we're gonna have one foot on the top. So we're gonna have 12 inches, right? Because there are 12 inches in a foot. Then we need to go from feet to miles. Hopefully you remember how many feet are in a mile. Okay, 5,280 feet. If you don't have that memorized, get it memorized. All right, in a mile. So we cancel out our inches, cancel out our feet, and we're left with miles cubed. Okay, so our answer is gonna be 50,160, or 50,160, 3,529, and we're multiplying that all by ones on the top, so it's just gonna be this. Then on the bottom, we have 12 cubed times 5,280 three times, and that's gonna be miles cubed. So make sure you're keeping the top part on the top and the bottom part on the bottom. That would be your answer. Okay, go ahead and do the practice problem and then play the video and see if you got it right. All right, so if you did this correctly, you should end up with one million on the top and then on the bottom, 12 cubed times 5,280 cubed miles cubed, okay? So again, you don't have to do these out. You can just write them out with their numbers without getting the final product. Make sure you have the correct units. All right, that's lesson 128.